Things are looking good in the Atlantic Division. The Boston Bruins have clinched a playoff spot and so have the Florida Panthers. The Toronto Maple Leafs and Tampa Bay Lightning, while they haven't clinched just yet, they look like definitive locks to be playoff teams with their 95 and 93 points respectively. The Detroit Red Wings, though, are few and far away beyond that. They've got 82 points versus Tampa Bay's 93 they realistically are not going to catch up. And when it comes to the Wings and their playoff chase, hey, things are really heating up here. And today's game against the New York Rangers could really break or make the Wings' chances, depending on what else happens with these other teams. Why do I say that? Well, because the race has been heating up, baby. The Wings, the Islanders, Capitals, and Penguins, things have gotten crazy for these teams. The final wildcard spot in the East, nobody wants it. In fact, you could debate that the third place spot in the Metro is also up for grabs because Philadelphia, New York, the Islanders, the Caps, and the Penguins are all separated by two points. Only Carolina and the Rangers have locked themselves into the postseason in the Metro. These are the only two teams that I think actually look good. The other teams are just barely getting by, they're scraping by, they're winning games, they're losing games. And if you go over to the wildcard race, yeah, this is where things look interesting. That third place spot in the Metro, up for grabs. That final wildcard spot, up for grabs. If the Wings win tonight against the New York Rangers, they will propel themselves back into that final wildcard spot, at least for now. If you wanted to sort by points percentage, see what's looking like over there. The Detroit Red Wings are in the same class as the Washington Capitals. They're slightly better than the New York Islanders and slightly better than the Penguins. But things have been getting so nuts because if you look at some of these records here, the Islanders are 5-5-0 in their last 10. They've won three games in a row. The Capitals have lost two games in a row in regulation. They're 5-4-1 in their last 10. Meanwhile, the Red Wings are 4-4-2 in their last 10. They won once. They're still in it. The Penguins, Sidney Crosby, 6-2-2 in their last 10. They have won three in a row. Things are really heating up here, and I honestly cannot remember a time when this race was so tight as it is right now. You've got literally four teams competing for the wildcard spot. Even the fifth place team you could say is in there if you wanted to say Philadelphia is trying to compete too. It's kind of nuts. And if you go over to this article published by Detroit Hockey Now, this was by Kevin Allen eight hours ago. It goes out there and illuminates things pretty well. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go ahead and read more about this. Another day, another change in the Eastern Conference wildcard race. The Islanders won their third consecutive game, moving into the second wildcard spot. A couple of weeks ago, it seemed like no team wanted the spot. Now it seems like every team wants it. The Wings are 3-2-2 two two in their last seven. The Isles have won 4-5 and the Penguins won't go away. The Islanders have 83 points, while the Wings and the Capitals have 82 points. They also have games in hand over the Islanders. The Penguins, who seemed out of it 10 days ago, are now only a point behind the Wings and the Caps. They're 6-2-2 two two in their last 10. Dan Kanierski of Pittsburgh Hockey now wrote this about the Penguins, that their locker room was just different. The smiles were beaming. The sense of accomplishment was eclipsed by overflowing optimism. The Penguins have found their swagger. And in fact, I was actually asked... I got a few DMs over the past few days saying, hey, make a Penguins video. Make a Pittsburgh Penguins video. They're doing well. They're starting to put together wins and string together results. Sidney Crosby is willing this team into being able to contend for that playoff spot. And that, of course, is an amazing story. Sidney Crosby has been doing some fantastic things. He's included in the picture of the article here for a reason. But before we dive into the rest of the Crosby love, what I wanted to do was go over to moneypuck.com and review some of the odds because this is one of the bigger mathematical tellings that we could look at as to what's going to happen. I mean, right here, it's saying that the Wings have a 39% chance of beating the New York Rangers, and that is not great. 
But of course, you know, hockey is hockey. Anything can happen. Let's go out there and see the odds here. Fairly big game for the Rangers. The Rangers have already clinched the playoffs. They don't really matter in this conversation. This is a huge game for the Wings, though. If they beat the Rangers in regulation, their playoff odds go from 45%, so under 50, to 59.7%. If they lose to the Rangers, then the playoff odds go down to 32%. This is a huge game. It's astronomical, gigantic, enormous. Even if they lose to the Rangers in overtime, the Wings will still hover around that 45-point percentile mark. 59, though, that does seem pretty good. Even if they beat the Rangers in overtime, 58%. Like, increase those numbers, baby. Get yourself that 10% increase. Let's go out there and look at the playoff odds because this is where things get crazy. So we're talking about five teams, right? The Flyers, the Caps, the Red Wings, the Penguins, and the Islanders are all kind of just hovering around in there. I mean, where's Washington? Yeah, right there. So the Flyers have a 60% chance of making the playoffs. The Wings, a 45% chance. The Islanders, a 36% chance tied with the Washington Capitals. And the Pittsburgh Penguins have a 20% chance. This is kind of nuts because every other team is pretty much confirmed. You've got all your 100s over here. You've got your 99s. That's it, right? Like, you've got... How many is that? 15 199s. But... The other teams here, this group of five, they're all hovering in various degrees around that wildcard spot and last metro spot. And then everybody else, I mean, you've got zeros and 0.7s and 0.4s and 0.1s. The Sabres are technically not eliminated yet, nor are the Wild, the Devils, and the Blues, but it's very unlikely that they're going to come back and make the dance. They need to win out and they need to rely on some very big shenanigans on the other teams in front of them to open up more spots. So this is our grouping of five. The Flyers, the Wings, the Isles, the Caps, the Penguins. Things are heating up, man. In today's schedule, we've got some pretty big implicative games. Philadelphia, Washington, Detroit, all in action. And if we go over to the games today, so Buffalo, 55% chance of winning. If the Flyers lose this game in regulation, what happens then? That's going to be pretty bad for them, isn't it? Yeah, this is a huge game for the Flyers. If they lose in regulation, their playoff odds drop to 44%. If they win, though, 74%. Washington and Carolina, this is a huge game, but... Carolina seems to be the odds-on favorite, 72% chance of winning. The Caps only have a 28% chance here. And if you scroll down, if they lose, Washington's playoff odds go from 36% to 28%. That's not great. If they win, 18% increase. So lots of big games going on in the NHL tonight. We'll see what happens. But for now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Pittsburgh Penguins and their recent winning streak. The Detroit Red Wings' ability to hang on. The Capitals, how they're still in it. How the Flyers need to get that wild card spot on lock. These teams are all kind of hovering in there, but what are your opinions as to how things are going to go? Who do you think ultimately gets the final two spots? That is the third Metro spot and the second wildcard spot. Do you think it's going to be a big race to the finish, or do you think a team is going to start running away with it tonight? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this. And bye.